at how a classroom teacher could use Google Documents or what we call now Google Drive to allow you to create some uh, student assessments through the forms option. So first thing we want to do is just head to, uh, you could even just head to google.com um, or google.ca depending which country you're in. And at the top here, if you've already got an account, you'll see in the corner over here that I've got an account and I'm already logged in. If you're not, you're going to have to create an account and log in. If you have a Gmail account, that will work fine. Um, along the top here, typically you'll see an option for Drive. Um, if it's not there, you might have to click on the More, uh, the more tab here. And uh, it should be listed there as well. So I'm going to click on Drive now. And since I'm logged in, I do use uh, Google Documents or Google Drive now as a, uh, a huge part of my my teaching and uh, and personal life. You'll notice here that I've got uh, quite a few different online Google documents here, uh, most of which are actually forms, um, which will allow me to uh, obtain data from the internet or data from students, whatever it may be. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Create over here and we're going to click on form and basically what that's going to do is allow us to create a student or um, really it doesn't even need to be for the classroom but in this case I'm going to create a quick little student uh, survey or maybe even a multiple choice form it's completely up to you so I can call it whatever I'd like test form and uh, I could toss in whatever questions I'd like so I'll, I'll make it really quick and really simple um, let's say here we're going to just say uh, last name to identify the student. Here we've got all kinds of options. Um, text would just be a text option, so their answer they could type in. You can say whether this is required or not. My second question over here, I'm going to click on this little pencil, which will allow me to edit it. I'm going to say first name, and we're going to make that a required question as well. And at that point, it always gives you two questions um, by default but up here I can also add items I can go ahead and add a multiple choice uh, a scale if you want to survey whatever it may be I'm gonna go multiple choice and I'm gonna say the answer to question a on your iPad is and I would obviously have a list uh, a being maybe 130 centimeters B being 13 centimeters, whatever it may be. Obviously, you'd want to make sure that you uh, spend a, a decent amount of time actually um, creating the, the possible answer so that uh, it is an effective assessment. But uh, just for uh, the sake of the example here, we'll keep it simple. We'll click um, Done. And at the end, you can click Save. And what this does is this saves this form and you'll notice at the bottom it says you can view sorry you can view the published form here so if I click on this link this is the act active link that will send the students or whoever it is to your form when I come back over here to the actual um, form so I've got it listed over here I can uh, go back to Google Docs, you'll see test form will be the, the last modified form here. If I give that a click, all the solutions or all the answers or submissions will show up in a spreadsheet format and it'll uh, basically appear as the answers come in in real time. So for example, if I go back over to my test form and I say Pierce and I say Kyle and I select B, I could press submit and my response has been recorded. I could submit another response or it encourages you to create your own form. So when I click back over here to the spreadsheet, notice on today, which is September 15th, 2012 at 2.21, uh, and it even down to the second shows my information and my solution. Really easy to do. And you can also share with uh, colleagues if you have more than one person teaching the course. You can, uh, you can invite them to share that form, whatever you'd like. Um, if you scroll down further in this post, I'll post another video which will show you how you can actually mark an assessment quickly and easily using a script called Fluberu, which is completely free. So until then, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a few minutes.